Welcome to the third tutorial in my Google Blogger tutorial series. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change and customize a Blogger template. So what we do is we go to Google and we search for best free Blogger templates 2021. Then we open up some of these results. And as you can see here, we have very beautiful, professional looking premium blogger themes or templates. Just keep scrolling. When you find any one of them that catches your eye, then go ahead and click on it. For example, I seem to like the simplistic design of this one called Rapid. I'll just click and it opens it up in a new tab window. All right. So this is how this particular template looks. And what you can do is scroll down here where it says live preview. Just want to see how it looks. Beautiful. I just love the simplistic and minimalist design of this template. So yeah, let's work with this. We'll come back here. Obviously you can actually buy this template to get extra features. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I think a free version of the template will do just fine. I'll go ahead and click on download and right here it's downloading and it's done. So you can go to the download folder. So you can now go to the download folder to access the file. And this is the file right here. I'm just going to cut or copy it, take it to an empty folder. And as you can see from this icon, this is a zip file. So before we do anything, we'll have to unzip it first. In order to be able to upload this new template we just downloaded, we'll have to unzip it. So click on it once, then right click. Then use any file extractor you have to extract this file. I'll just go ahead and click extract here. And now it has extracted everything. But out of all these documents, the only thing we're going to use is this one here. If you hover over it, you see that the type of document is XML document. This XML document or file is what we're going to upload to our Blogger blog. Now to upload your new template to Blogger, come over here and click on theme. Then right here, where it says customize, click on the drop down arrow. And now before you do anything, you're always advised to download a backup copy of your present blogger theme. So go ahead and click on backup. And right here, it says download, click on it. And right here, it's downloading, downloading, done. So that was just for safekeeping. Still click here on the drop down arrow. This time around, we're going to click on this option that says restore. Go ahead and click on restore. You now go and click on upload here. Then find the folder where you have your XML file for your theme that you just downloaded. Mine is here. This is the XML file. I'll go ahead and click it. Then click on open. Down here it says restoring theme and restored theme so we're good to go now to check the changes we've made to the site scroll down here on your left and click on view blog and as you can see we've successfully changed the blogger template into this particular one when i scroll down you can see all the features that came along with the theme which you can customize and delete any section you don't want all right, to make changes to this theme, we'll have to go back to our blogger back office. And this time around, we'll click on layout right here, layout. So this is the settings page for controlling how your template looks at the front end. So basically this is the back end of your blogger templates or themes. You see this place where it says top navigation, this top navigation here is this light blue section right here where you have your home about contact 
and you can make changes to those items right here for example when you click on this edit icon you'll be able to come here and change anything you want to change you can change this about to privacy policy or whatever so basically you can come here and change anything you want to change in future tutorials i'll go in more in depth about this section then this section where you see social top this social top is this section right here where you have your social media icons facebook twitter instagram and pinterest so this is where you'll be able to add your links right here and i'll go more in depth about that in future tutorials what i'm going to be concentrating more on in this particular video is the header logo right here so you see this logo right here it's being controlled by this header logo section so to change our blog logo go ahead and click on this edit pen icon and as you can see our blog title and blog description is still active if you scroll down here you can see that the selection that is active is show blog logo instead of title and description so that is why our site is showing the logo instead of the title and description of our blog which is what we want so make sure you always choose this option now to change our logo we'll go ahead and click on this selection here where it says upload image from computer then go ahead and click on choose file then go ahead and choose your logo you see down here where it says shrink to fit go ahead and toggle it on so we want to activate the shrink to fit functionality which will force our logo to be compressed to the dimension which this particular template requires then go ahead and click on save and go down here you see this disk save button click on it and it says your changes have been saved all right we'll go back to our blog right now and refresh and as you can see this is the logo of my blog right now so cbt means catalyst blogging tutorials so i designed this logo myself in just two minutes using a design software but if you're not good at uh, graphics design you don't need to worry at all you can head over to fiverr all right so this is fiverr in this search box go ahead and type for logo design and as you can see you have hundreds and hundreds and thousands of graphics designers at your beck and call whether it's a minimalist logo 3d logo a typography logo 2d logo whatever type of logo you want you can find someone here on fiverr to design it for you in less than 24 hours or more if you sign up on fiverr with my link you'll get 20 percent off your first purchase so head on over to the description box below and click on the very first link to sign up on fiverr we have successfully changed our logo right so if we go back to our back office you can see that towards the right of our logo we have the main menu and if you go back to the front end you can see that towards the right of our logo is our main menu so this entire section right here is our main menu and obviously you can go to the back office and change all of this and link to different parts of your blog in future tutorials i'll make a dedicated video about how to customize your menu header this is the sidebar right here towards the right if i scroll down you can notice a lot of useless gadgets and widgets that we do not want we have a lot of them here so we want to remove or delete all the widgets and gadgets we do not want and that's what i'm going to do right now so going back to the blog of back office when you scroll down here you can see the sidebar right section so everything you see in here is what you have here all right so basically i want to remove every single widget from our sidebar 
So I'll just go back to the back office and as usual, click on the pen edit icon. So what I normally do is I click on control plus A to highlight everything. And I hit the backspace button to delete all of that. And I click on remove, go ahead and click OK. And as you can see, that subscribe widget is gone. Do the same thing for the rest of them. Click on remove. Okay. Click here. Click on remove. Okay. We do the same thing here. All right. Now that we've successfully deleted all of those junk widgets that we don't need, we'll go ahead and click on the save icon right here to save our changes and we head over to our blog and refresh and as you can see if I scroll down here we've successfully deleted all of those junk widgets actually I thought I've also deleted this social plugin so I'll go back here the social plugin was not a part of the sidebar per se it's right here on top so if you would like to have this social plugin on your blog go ahead and leave it here but if not, just come here and delete it. Click on the edit icon, then come here and uh, click on the recycle bin icon. Just keep clicking here to delete all of those social media buttons. Then switch this button off and hit on save. Now, in the future, if you'd like to bring it back, you can always come back here and reactivate it click on save and when I go back to the blog now and hit on refresh so this entire sidebar section is completely empty and free and this was that test post I created in some previous tutorial in the next tutorial I'll show you how to properly create blog posts format them and publish them on blogger all right scrolling down here you can see that we have home ads button go back to the front end of your site you're going to see that this is that ads icon right here you see this one home ads bottom if you scroll up we also have another one home ads top and how you add those banners is through this section here for the top one and this one for the bottom banner Go ahead and search my channel for the dedicated video I made about how to add banner codes right here in the back end of your Google Blogger blog settings page. And the next section right here, we have the about and logo section and the social footer. If you go back to the front end, you can see this is the about and logo, then a short summary about what our blog is all about. Then we have the social footer right here. So let me just go ahead and upload our logo right here. We'll go to the back office where it says about and logo. Click on edit. All right now. So let's change the footer logo. Scroll down here. Click this option that says upload image from computer. Go ahead and click on choose file. And as we did before, we'll go to where our logo file is located and click on it. Then click on open. And please always make sure to toggle on this shrink to fit option. Then go ahead and click on save and also click the save icon. We'll go back to our front end now and click on refresh. As you can see, we have successfully changed the logo down here, just as we changed the main logo up here. As for these social media icons right here, just look out for my future tutorial dedicated to how to edit these icons down here as well as the ones up here. I'll make a dedicated video about that. You can actually search for the playlist containing all of the video tutorials in this blogger series in the description box below. See you in the next one.